I'm Stephanie Eckerman. I'm a forensic scientist and firearms examiner here at the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office Crime Lab. So I've been doing this for a little over 20 years and in all of my experiences, thousands of guns that I've test fired, I've never seen two firearms fire bullets or cartridge cases with similar features. The guns leave behind what you would call or would be equivalent to a fingerprint. So a firearm is made of metal, and metal is crystalline in nature, and so when that metal is machined, it's, it's leaving behind unique features. These features are then transferred to bullets and cartridge cases during the firing process. So as a bullet travels down a barrel, the rifling marks that have been cut into the barrel are then transferred to the bullet, and they're unique to that gun. As well as when a cartridge case is fired in a bullet, a firing pin will strike the primer on the head of the cartridge case, leaving behind unique features. My name is Brad Storms. I'm training to be a firearm examiner. So I started in the crime lab or forensic science lab uh, in 2019 um, as a multidiscipline evidence processor or forensic technician. Um, got to work with guns, got to go hands-on with guns, and I've been a hunter my whole life. Um, and it just, it really intrigued me. Um, I thought that the science behind it was very interesting and I just wanted to learn more. I love the science of it you're learning something every day, it's, it's new. Um, and the challenge of learning how a gun works and um, the science of how you're able to make identifications is something that uh, motivates me to learn more and more every day. Bullets are collected across the county from different shooting scenes. So it might be just a bullet that was found on the street or it might be an active shooting scene where there were victims involved. Our medical examiners and hospital technicians will collect bullets from bodies and they come to the laboratory as well. Showing that a gun was used in a shooting and is, is linked to a suspect is important, as well as showing that, hey, this wasn't the firearm used in the shooting, and, and, and then causing the investigation to, to take a turn in the right direction. I'm happy to know that my work has an impact, not only in putting away someone who is guilty, but in helping to exonerate someone who, who isn't guilty as well.